Uh, hello. Today we're doing something very interesting. Uh, I am joined by my friend Trey. Trey's a longtime friend. And actually, uh, in terms of regulars, you're one of the more regular guests I have on the channel. Um, and Trey is here today to talk about a game-breaking bug that was discovered in Sword and Shield. Uh, Trey, you want to introduce yourself and uh, give us a little bit of background? Yes, yeah, sure. So my name's Trey. Uh, I also go by Leonard, if you might know me by that. Um, online, my handle is the Wobblefet. Um, I do battle mechanics research. Um, that's one of my fun things that I enjoy doing, trying to delve into the depths of the game and see how things work. Um, I also do VGC competitive play. Um, so recently I got, um, I, I made it to the global finals of the last Players' Cup that they had. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I guess the Champions Invitational was a little bit different. So, um, But I made it to the uh, Players' Cup for global finals. That was cool. Um, but uh, battle mechanics research is something I'm really interested in. And uh, there was a new glitch just recently discovered. Um, it was posted on September 19th, so uh, pretty recent compared to the time of recording, um, of a really, really cool glitch with a nerve and cheek pouch. It was discovered by the uh, Japanese player, uh, Zagio, a brilliant guy. Um, he is a super, super smart uh, bow mechanics guy. Um, and he, he tweeted out about this. I looked into it. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, no, it sounds super cool. I have a question for you. What is, what's the difference between a bug and a glitch? Because I think the, I think I called it a bug and you called it a glitch or vice versa. So like, is there like a notice, like, is there like a meaningful distinction or is it kind of just like the same thing? I use those terms interchangeably. Okay. I'd say that. They're basically the same thing. Cool. Yeah, not really too much difference um, from one way to the other. Got it. Uh, cool. The glitch that we'll be looking at today is with uh, two abilities, actually. Um, one of them is the ability Unnerve. So Unnerve prevents your opponent from eating berries. Um, and actually, what will be interesting about Unnerve is that we're actually going to be taking advantage of when Unnerve causes your opponent to eat berries, which mm -hmm. will kind of be interesting. Uh, and the other ability that we'll be interacting with mostly is Cheek Pouch. So Cheek Pouch is an effect that when you are an ability that when you eat a berry, uh, you restore some HP. It's I think one third of I your HP. I believe so. Yeah, one third. I yeah. think. Yeah, not too many Pokemon get cheek pouch. So uh, for the purposes of today's demonstration, we're going to be giving cheek pouch to some very excellent Pokemon um, and uh, <laughs> giving them some superpowers along with it. Uh, this glitch makes Pokemon invincible, among other things. So uh, we are we're going to have a fun time with today's uh, interaction. Awesome. Cool. So should we just like jump into it? Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Cool. And I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is kind of an extension of an existing glitch, or are we just doing? Are we just like kind of doing another application of it? Uh, this is an extension of a previously known glitch. So we used to, in the past, know an interaction with a nerve, um, allowing strange timings to happen, where Pokemon would heal HP at timings when they should, um, and it was very amusing. Um, but we we hadn't ever seen this application with Cheek Pouch until now. This is a very recent discovery. Um, however, it's actually already been tested, uh, and this glitch actually occurs back in Generation 6 and 7 as well. So, really? Uh, yeah, it goes back quite a ways, um, but this is only the first time that we've uh, discovered it. That's so interesting. And that's Yeah, because Cheek Pouch, was, that was Dead Nay's signature ability, or was it on... Wait, what generation it was. does Diggers be? Because doesn't Diggers be get Cheek Pouch uh, too? I think it is six, but I don't remember if it got it in six or not. Yeah. Off the top of my head. Yeah. It does. It definitely gets it now. Yeah. For I mean, for sure. Um, I think you're right. I think Diggersby was X and Y, but for some reason in my head, I thought it was black and white. But no, I think you're right. It is Generation Six. Um, but that's so cool because like the fact that like it makes you wonder what are the other things that like people just haven't discovered yet that because it took what like three generations, the better mm -hmm. part of three generations to discover this. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's super super uh, excellent. I'm, I'm I'm excited to showcase it off as well today with two. Excellent Pokemon. We got Mr. Fish and Eggy Eggy Eggy. <laughs> I actually used a cheek pouch. Like, I was testing Dedene plus Cresselia. I was using, like, um, what was it? I was using uh, Calm Mind Cresselia with Citrus Berry and Recycle. And then I, I was trying to, like, entrainment cheek pouch onto Cresselia so that you could just, like, recover, like, a ton of HP whenever you wanted to. <laughs> uh, this is, like, back in Gen 7 or Gen 6. Um, Yo, that would have been so cool. Yeah, I definitely, like, built the team, but I don't know how. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember it being especially good. Yeah. So just to describe a little bit about what's going on here, um, we're just doing some preparatory work. Um, I need to put Cheek Pouch on both of our excellent Pokemon that Wolf has here. And then Wolf is also using some moves. Um, they're not uh, particularly interesting. Uh, mostly what I'm doing with them is actually trying to reduce their PP very quickly. Um, so both Dracovish and Exeggutor are holding Lepaberry. So thanks to Weavile's pressure, um, it's going to be reducing um, another additional power point from that attack. So 
Um, as you'll see, Wolf, you've already used up two rain dances and two gravities. I was just saying uh, that's very be... interesting because I thought pressure only applied to moves that target the, the the Pokemon with pressure, but it seems that field effects count in that definition. Yeah, it's actually, well, properly speaking, it's actually targeting everyone on the field. Uh -huh. That's what it's doing. Um, so that's why the pressure is reducing an extra point there. I never um, knew that. Yep, but we were going to be, uh, go ahead and move on a little bit. Um, so I need to give entrainment onto Exeggutor as well um, to give it both cheek pouch. They're both bouncing around, <laughs> enjoying themselves. The entrainment move there, and then we'll go ahead and use Surf. Um, surf is uh, a requirement of this glitch is that I put a little bit of damage on both Dracovish and Exeggutor. You can see even there with that, uh, big that critical hit. Yeah. If I lose, I know why. <laughs> Um, thankfully, I didn't crit my Dedenne. Um, it actually can be kind of annoying if you do that, but that'll let my Dedenne switch out with this eject button. And now I will switch into my Mewtwo. Alrighty. So let's see here. So now I, yeah, so if you all, I, I have uh, two monitors. So if anyone's wondering why I'm looking at the other monitor here, it's because Trey has sent me a script. I, uh, I, I'm simply a vessel for this for this experiment. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure this, uh, how to do this uh, just on your own with, uh, well, it'd be kind of tricky, so we, we, we've got some directions for Wolf to help yeah, follow along. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. And so this is actually going to be um, this is actually going to be the first glitch that we're going to encounter here. Um, it's going to look very bizarre, so pay close attention to the HP of your Pokemon, Wolf, and okay. to you all the subscribists out there. Which, by the way, <laughs> if you aren't subscribed, give that a subscribe. <laughs> um, <but, laughs> Weavile's going to protect here because... Um, Boom! Oh, no, yeah, sorry. Uh, not, not, not quite yet. No, not quite yet. We okay. still have to use that last PP there, uh, both Rain Dance and Gravity, but Boom. then we have Self Destruct. Boom! Look at that! <laughs> Giant explosion! Now, did you know Mewtwo doesn't get explosion? What's I did know that, that, actually. I, but I actually, I thought Mewtwo only got Self Destruct via Gen 3 Tutor. No, it's a TM move, this generation. Uh, oh, by the way, Wolf, notice something really interesting here. My uh, Pokemon is 0 like... HP, but it's eating the Lepa Berry, and I'm... Okay. So yeah, I've healed HP, to... I've eaten my Lepa Berry, I see, I see, I'm both Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So uh, that's the reason why we wanted to reduce that uh, PP earlier. Got so it. Uh, we used the last bit of PP there. Uh, now that uh, my Nerf Pokemon spainted, you're able to eat those uh, items. So you ate them from zero HP, you know, that's kind of Which is unusual. In every yeah. other case, when a Pokemon hits zero HP, it will just simply be knocked out. But in this case, I went to zero HP and then immediately restored. Yeah, exactly. You still ate your, um, you still ate your berries anyway. So mm -hmm. um, both. I mean, that make kind of kind of makes sense for Executor. You know, it has harvest. It likes to eat its berries. Yeah. But uh, maybe Dracovish maybe being a little bit unusual here. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and uh, you'll know something else that's unusual going on here in just a moment. So Excuse I me. need to go ahead and use Dragon Darts, and I will switch out back into Denade or Dedede or however you say it. <laughs> Sibuna is that a different language? Yes, it is. Would you know what language it is? Um, it is German. That's okay, I would have guessed that. Alright, so I'm getting hit by Dragon Darts here. My Pokemon will likely faint, right? Oh. Huh. Yeah, well, you see, Eggie only took a little bit of damage, Wolf, but... Huh? But it still fainted. So, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> also, wait, why is Dragon Darts doing no damage? Uh, yeah, well, this is this is kind of part of the glitch as to what's going on here. So go ahead and switch into your Mewtwo and Jolteon. So, um, what we've done here is something, uh, very interesting. So notice that we had, actually, we healed HP there from from Cheek Pouch, uh -huh. but the display that um, the game showed you right then is not actually the amount of HP you were currently at. Um, you were actually at a different amount of HP and you just didn't know it. Huh? Um, so yeah, <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's it's quite a little bit convoluted, but uh, basically at that point, your HP wasn't what you thought it would be. Uh, we'll have a little bit more time to explain later. So for now, just uh, deal with the mystery as we go ahead and go into this next turn. We're on turn five. Cool. And I have to remember the moves yeah. I need to make. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm so into, because also Trey doesn't tell me always in advance, like, what to expect. So I have a general idea of where this is going, but, like, I'm, I'm already seeing it for the first time with you all. Okay, so we passed, okay, we passed yeah. Cheek Pouch to... Badoof. 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 <laughs> there's no, there's no Badoof in this guy. I, I was going to actually see if you can get to number one in the world with Badoof. Yesterday I was looking at Badoof, but, and Badoof is oh, my name, no. and I was really pissed. See, you can use, you can use Badoof like this. Uh -huh. You can use this Badoof. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yep. So this is turn seven, so I'm clicking self destruct No, this is, um... Oh, this sorry, turn, turn six. Go in the guy Yeah, just self destructing now, that would be annoying. <laughs> toxic Badoof and... To sorry, Toxic Detonate and Snore. 
I see. I'm giving you the. Uh, I'm, I'm activating your cheek pouch. Or mm -hmm. y yeah. You will be eventually. Yeah. So, both. Um, well, since you just used trick there, we gave the divinity a pitch, petra berry. Mm -hmm. um, so that would normally allow it to heal this uh, toxic that we will be inflicting here shortly. Uh, but oh. I've paralyzed that one, but thankfully we got the toxic off with that one. Yeah, yeah my Badoo also knows toxic, uh, just in case that, uh, in case Mewtwo's toxic misses, but oh. I'm paralyzed. So, um, we've got this set up now. Did uh, you trick me Oh, because the nerve is in play. Yep, exactly. Like, oh. <laughs> yep, my Badoo also is holding a cherry berry, so. Oh, I see, I see, uh, I see, I see. Yep, very shortly. Um, now you'll go ahead and use. Self-destruct and hyper -voice. Yep. Yep, exactly, exactly. And we're basically going to be doing something quite similar to what we did with Executor and Dracovish on your side. Mm -hmm. um, but this time it'll be slightly different. Um, we've got um, two Pokemon on my side that are not quite as impressive as Dracovish and Executor, but uh, still nevertheless kind of cool. Um, you two fainting here means that a nerve is no longer active, so berries can be eaten once again. But this is so, weird because I'm... you're eating your berry to cure a status condition when you've already fainted. Exactly. When you have zero HP, you're still able to eat these berries, uh, making for a, a very interesting interaction here, as we've already seen. So I get to heal up. Um, and now Jolteon is going to follow up with this Hyper Voice, and kind of in a similar way to what I did with my Dragon Darts earlier. Uh -huh. This isn't going to deal the full damage, um, but nevertheless, my Badoo and my Danene both uh, faint. Or at least, well, they sort of faint. Um, yeah, if we look I, at my no, party, you can see that I actually still have Mr. Fish and Eggy 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 in the back still. Yeah, and they still have HP. They still have HP, um, despite the fact that the game told me they fainted. Yeah, so you're going to be switching in here, Wolf, to... Clang gang. Clang, clang. Clang, clang, clang. Um, and then I will switch into... Omanite and Dragapult. Okay. So, um... We've basically got the glitch mostly set up here. Um, these Pokemon are in the back. Um, I've intentionally set them up this way in the setup, so that way they're they're in the back, so we can kind of take things one at a time. Um, I want you to go ahead, Wolf, and double target my oh, Lord man. Helix that we've got here. Uh huh. Uh, switch. Use. You so predicted my, me. I know, imagine. So I switched out to my Bidoof. Um, and uh, Dragon Ball here is just going to kill a turn. But notice um, where Jolteon attacks. Okay. <laughs> it didn't attack into Bidoo. Um, it attacked into my Dragon Ball. I definitely targeted uh, Bidoo, I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely did. And uh, just in case any folks missed that, um, let's go ahead and do the same thing again, Wolf. Go ahead and double target my Bidoo. Okay. Uh, this time I'll protect with my Dragapult. So again... You can, you can see here, as Wolf is inputting these commands, that he did target the Badoo here. But it's not targeting Badoo, it's actually targeting the Dragapult, as you can see here, hitting the Protect. Now, Wolf, the reason it's doing this is because Badoo has fainted. Right, and if you, if, you fainted, if, if a Pokemon is knocked out uh, and you try to target it, it will redirect to the partner if there is one. Exactly, and that's what's going on here, more or less. Um, so, um, now what I want you to do, Wolf, is you can go ahead and double switch to your Dracovish and Executor. Got it. I will go ahead and attack you. So again, this is kind of just uh, showing the general concept of, you know, it's trying to attack these fainted Pokemon. But now what I've done here with Wolf is we've put two fainted Pokemon on the field right. at the same time. So now we've got both Iggy, 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 and Mr. Fish out on the field. Um, but you can see huh? here using Breaking Swipe, it actually just straight up fails. Uh, and that's because, well, all the Pokemon are fainted, Wolf, <laughs> so there's no target. <laughs> I can't attack you, Wolf. <laughs> There's no way I can actually hit you. Now, um, this is uh, quite interesting still. Um, Wolf, go ahead and uh, double target my Badoo with Leaf Storm and Fishes Ren. Mm -hmm. So we've already seen that that's going to redirect into Dragapult, right? So, right. you know, not, 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 not too much potentially interesting going on here. So pay very close attention to this work turn and what happens. So I'm going to use Dragon Darts, and that fails. And then that's the whole turn. Huh? And that's it. Wait, yeah, what happened? So, uh, yeah, so you're fainted, Wolf. You can't use any moves. But, but, but your Badoo was using moves. No, it wasn't. No, you, 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 you might have missed it. Um, my Badoo also didn't take any action this turn. But didn't your Badoo protect the turn before? Nope, that was my Dragapult, remember? Oh, I didn't notice. 
Yep. My Badoo hasn't taken any actions either since it's been on the turn. Oh, uh, I didn't even oh. notice. So, so well, let's go ahead, Wolf. I mean, we've we've kind of shown off these, you know, fainted Pokemon doing stuff. Go ahead and switch these out for now. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just double switch out. It doesn't really matter what to. Okay. Yep. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch my Dragapult out into Dedenne. So that way we can have a, a number of fainted Pokemon on the field. Okay. And of course, you know, after my Drag Dragapult switched, all your Pokemon are going to switch, Wolf, right? Ah. Except you can't. <laughs> oh, no. Because they're dead? <laughs> Yeah, because they're fainted. So you can't you can't switch out like that. That doesn't work like that. You're you're a fainted Pokemon, Wolf. It's not gonna do anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and just you know click anything that you want, Wolf. Let's go ahead and just click some moves. We, we, you know pick pick some moves you haven't clicked yet. You know. Yeah. Mix, mix things up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tournament threw pretty quick there, Wolf. What do you think? <laughs> My moves aren't working. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so invincibility has its price. Um, your Pokemon <laughs> they can't take any damage, but you can't do anything with them either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wolf, you know, let's, di let's Dynamax one of these Pokemon, right? Which, which one do you want to Dynamax? You want to Dynamax? I already picked my moves. You Dynamax your Dedenne, I guess. I forgot Dynamax is uh, a mechanic. Okay, 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 one, one second. We'll, we'll, we'll do that on the next turn. Okay, okay. all right. Now you, I want to Dynamax Dracovish. Okay, okay, you Dynamax Dracovish. Okay. For a second. Yeah, Dynamax, Dynamax, you can choose any move that you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that was a pretty cool Dynamax there you got, Wolf. <laughs> pretty Wait, great Dynamax. <laughs> So you can't Dynamax either. All right, Wolf, I think that's about enough that we've uh, showed off. So let's go ahead and uh, just forfeit this battle. Okay. Let's go ahead and just forfeit this battle, you know, uh, because we are, you know, that's 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 quite a few interactions that we've shown off. Oh, yeah, Wolf, you can't forfeit. You can't forfeit? No, you can't forfeit. You're stuck. <laughs> You're stuck. And because Wait, I uh, put <laughs> and because I put these fade Pokemon on the field, too, we're stuck, too. So, so no matter what we do, we can't. Like if we if there was no mechanic that we could turn the switch off, we would be stuck here forever. In other words, yeah. Well, not quite forever. We do have one friend to save us in the end, um, and that's gonna be timer. <laughs> but oh yeah, right, that, that's gonna that's gonna take a little bit. So uh, <laughs> in the in the meantime, uh, we've we've got a little bit of time. So I I think that's a good time to kind of explain a little bit more technically speaking what's going on. So sure. you can kind of just let the game run at this point, Wolf. Yeah. Um, Unless we don't need to select our moves over and over yeah, and over again. Yeah, just do anything, right? Yeah. So, um, to try to get a, an overview of what's going on here. So, the glitch is actually more apparent here with animations off. So, this this is uh, the way that it works with animations on actually has slightly different behavior than it does with animations off. Okay. Like, all the interactions will be the same, but the visual display looks differently, which... As you might expect with uh, animations off, something looks a little bit different. So we saw that when we used self-destruct with Mewtwo, Mewtwo used self-destruct and it dealt damage to everybody. Everybody took all, you know, they went down to zero HP. Um, and then since Mewtwo fainted, then the berries got eight. That's not actually technically the order that those things are happening in, properly speaking. Uh, the actual order that things are happening in is that first the unnerved Pokemon faints. So first Mewtwo faints. Before taking damage? Before taking damage. Before any of this happens, self-destruct causes Mewtwo to faint. I see. So, so Mewtwo faints. Then the berries are um, get eaten. So because the and then so the Lepi berries get eight, or the cherry berry and the Pecha berry get eight. Um, after they get eaten, then Cheek Pouch can activate and restore HP. But um, you're not gonna be restoring like you can't restore one third of your HP at that point. Um, because so, you're just still in its move animation, basically, or move like yeah, effect. Yeah, you're basic. So you you are um, you can't restore all the way up to full HP. Um, but the game freaks out at this point. And in my judgment, I think the best way to describe this is that it restores too much HP. It restores too much HP. Okay. So it ends up thinking that you have more HP than you really do. Okay. Um, so. Here, I think, I don't know how much HP your Exeggutor and uh, Dracovish have right now. 40 and um, 43. Th these, these values would correspond to how things would look animations off. Uh, that's how things would look. So anyway, after you eat the berries and Cheek Pouch activates, then damage happens. So um, what we saw here with animations on in this battle is taking damage first, then healing. Uh -huh. But what actually happens is healing first, then taking damage. Uh, and that distinction is significant enough that it causes um, this glitch to take place because you end up healing so much HP 
that um, it's, it's too much. Um, I like to call this mechanic cheeky faint um, because you're <laughs> using cheek pouch and um, they're like fainted, but they're not quite all the way fainted. Uh -huh. um, so I, I, I call this cheeky faint. Technically, you can do it with um, stuff beyond Cheek Patch. Um, you can do this with Orin Berry as well, with a Pokemon with really, really, really low HP, like okay. less than 20. Um, but you can't do that at level 50. Right. Um, so, uh, but I, I call it Cheeky Faint. Uh, and so this is this is pretty interesting. So right now, what I've done is I've set up a, you know, a completely, you know, we can't do anything on either side. Right. We're, we're, we're totally stuck. Yeah. Um, but um, if you were to get this set up um, in a match, like say you have like this in a single battle. I was about to ask, um, like, what if I set this up? Like, if I set this up in VGC, what would happen? Like, what if I did you set this only up... goal like was to get this set up, right? Yeah, so I don't actually know whether or not it's optimal to set it up on yourself or on the opponent. Uh -huh. um, when you set it up on yourself, if you end up having a fainted Pokemon, or one of these cheeky faint Pokemon, mm -hmm. and all your other Pokemon are like regularly normally fainted, then you will still lose. Um, the game will figure it out at that point. Also, we got three minutes left in the battle, so this is pretty good. We're, we're making good time here. Um, but if you set this up on the opponent, um, then in theory you could just lock them. You could like lock a slot down, and then they can't do anything. You can't kill it, but they can't do anything, and then you could like win on timer. Um, I don't think it's uh, practical at all to actually set up. I, I've really thought about how we could, how you could potentially set it up, but right. the conditions to set up very easily are really, really strict. Um, you've got to have an Innerve Pokemon that can KO itself, which is limited to either Mewtwo um, or like a couple of the Steel Beam Pokemon that also have a Nerve, like right. Corviknight, which is, you know, like Steel Beam Corviknight. Right, <laughs> <which is pretty bad. laughs> um, yeah, you have to kill a Pokemon, but their HP has to be above two thirds before this happens, but it oh. can't be at full HP. Okay. So there's very specific um, circumstances for setting this up. Which um, is why if you, you surfed get... earlier. Yeah, exactly. Just to deal that little bit of damage to everything. Uh huh. Um, but beyond that, I, I couldn't figure out a way. Like I was I was really trying to think if there is a way you could possibly set this up. You know, right. just you know, if it's abusable, you know, you don't want to, you know, throw it out there. Right. Um, if, if it's something that's actually game breaking, but I don't think this is. This is just funny. Yeah. Um, it, it, you're not going to actually be able to set this up in a in a real game unless your opponent kind of just is not making any moves. <laughs> right. um, okay, and, and my question then is, we're going to go to time here. So, for the purposes of the timer rules, do I have no HP left on my Pokemon? Like, do we have no HP po left on our Pokemon, or, or are the values that it shows, or that is that the actual HP value? I, I don't actually know this. So, um, I, what I, I was interested in is, what if all of our other Pokemon were fainted, who would win? If all of your other Pokemon were fainted, you would lose instantly. All of, but both of us, in this instance. Oh, I see. You you're saying we yeah, could never because, set it up because Right. Yeah, if okay. you have if you have exclusively cheeky fainted and regular fainted Pokemon, right, you, lose. you will lose. Yeah, so you can't you can't win in that situation. I see, um, I see. But what okay, what if we, we have the same what if we have the same HP total, like and we each had one HP left? That I don't like I say, I don't know. Right. Um if if it considers your actual HP or if it thinks you're fainted and so it doesn't exclude you include you at all. Right. I really don't know. I saw um Zagio, again the original discoverer of this glitch, I saw him tweet something out about this, but um I couldn't quite make sense of it and it didn't the the um, video that he put with it didn't seem very conclusive. He had two cheeky fainted Pokemon and a real Pokemon um against uh Necrozma Dusk Main. Uh, like just a single one. Yeah. And he ended up winning. Um, okay. But I thought, okay, maybe he has. I don't know if that means he has three Pokemon to one, or, right, if, or if he has more total HP remaining. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. So, um, I, I I couldn't say for sure as exactly how this works out. But um, if Timer was not here, the only way to escape this battle would have been to turn off our switch. Okay. <laughs> if you like set this up in single player in game, you're toast. You have you to. Need to you turn have off to switch. just like close the switch. I see. Yep, exactly. I'll go ahead and mash my moves in. So that oh yeah, right. So we get we get yeah. in the loop. Well, this was this was very interesting. I gotta say, um, thank you for taking the time to set this up and to show everybody. I'm sure everyone. I lost. I take it back. I'm pissed. Um, I had one more Pokemon than you. Oh, <laughs> that's really funny. Um, yeah, that's so that's so interesting. Mm -hmm. I like. How do these things kind of get discovered? Is my question. You know. Well. Um, Again, uh, Zagio actually discovered the original glitch I was talking about with a nerve. Um, I'm a little bit more um, simplistic, um, just with unnerve and citrus berry uh -huh. activating at zero HP. Um, so he originally discovered this, 
I guess he just never thought to test Cheek Pouch till now. Right, yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, Cheek Pouch is a weird ability, and as you said, the distribution is pretty limited, so it makes sense that it's not, like, the first thing on anyone's mind, you know? Mm-hmm. But, cool. Um, well, that was that was honestly really cool, and, and uh, I, I was not expecting a lot of those twists and turns. I definitely didn't expect my Pokemon to not be able to do anything at all. Um, <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. But, yep. um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing, right? Yes, that's all. Cool. Is there anything you want to say um, before we wrap up here? Uh, no, subscribe to Wolfie because he is an uh, excellent YouTubist. <laughs> um, and if you are so inclined, uh, you may check out my channel, uh, youtube.com slash Um I upload mechanic stuff over there. Um, so if you're interested in this sort of content, I typically will upload um, either, some, I'll sometimes upload uh, detailed edited videos about a specific topic, um, or sometimes I'll upload um, archives from my streams. Sometimes I'll, I'll stream battle mechanics research where I go through and I test lots of different things. So if that's the kind of material you're interested in, that might be something for you. I also have a number of my battles from uh, Players Cup 4, um, both the regional finals and global finals. So if you're interested in some commentated VGC content, uh, you can check those out as well. Awesome. I'm just showing them all. And I also, if you if you haven't already, I recommend following Trey on Twitter. Um, he'll also post about these things there. And I'm just pulling up the YouTube channel to make sure people can find it. Um, so this should this should show you here. Um, so yeah, here's the here's the YouTube, and then here is the Twitch. So you should check that out. Trey obviously does a lot of really interesting stuff, but we can't showcase all of it on my channel. So definitely recommend following his channels as well, or channel as well, and also checking out his Twitter. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Trey, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, yeah, everyone, let me know what you think in the comments down below if you like this glitch and if you want to see more. Bye bye. Thank you very much for having me, Wolf. Yeah, thanks for being on.